Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. As you can tell from the title, we're doing a full face of drugstore makeup. There have been some quite good releases recently and I just wanted to show some new discoveries that I had, some viral products as well, a bit of old time favorites. This is just a mixture and a nice little catch up with you guys. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and we'll jump straight into it. If any of you into cider, get this Tatcher's blood orange one. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a sore throat coming in. That is annoying. I'd rather have a blocked nose and a sore throat at this point, but anyways. I like to start with brows, so the first thing I'm gonna use is the uh, Unicorn Cosmetics Bare Brows. I initially discovered this stuff through TikTok, but it's literally gold for your eyebrows. It's so easy to use. It just sticks your eyebrows instantly to your skin. You don't have to like wait for the product to dry for it to really stick in. Okay, so literally that's how quick it was. This is like my second pot. You can get it for eight to nine pounds on TikTok shop, which is where I usually buy it from because you can get like deals and stuff. I honestly don't know how many of these I've gone through. This is the NYX micro brow pencil, like my literal go-to eyebrow pencil. I love this. I use the shade black. I'm gonna just lightly fill in some areas so i recently went to go watch patan in cinemas with my mom to be honest i really like the songs more than anything i i wasn't a fan of the storyline like overall i probably rate it a six out of ten there was some nice i'm not going to spoil it but there was some nice appearances and Deepika just looks so good like i need to go to the gym because what on earth she looks insane but yeah i really liked both songs especially Bisharam. i guess it's like if you're into like action movies it's just a good action movie you know okay those eyebrows done those are drugstore eyebrows then i'm going to go in with the walida skin food this stuff's really nice like especially when i'm having like a really extra dry skin spell i will literally go in with this stuff because it's just so hydrating it's definitely on the thicker side i think you can get a light skin food version but i don't mind this every now and then like it's not a moisturizer i'm going to use every day but i have been loving it as you can tell like i'm almost done with it i recently tried the maybelline 4-in-1 glow perfecta and i'm in the shade 2 medium 2 medium really like matches me perfectly like as you can see like i'm applying it this stuff's really nice for every day and you can even use a sponge to like blend the product out i've got a spot on my mustache and it bloody hurts i'm gonna blend that all out i'm using the nyx 110 brush like it's literally my skin in a bottle now this shade isn't like too olivey or too yellow it's a bit it's got a bit more red in it but it matches me quite well the only thing is is that i touch my face once and there you can see like slight glitter particles they're not like chunky but there is like glitter but on your face you can't really tell anyways i've been loving this stuff like i've been using it quite a bit i don't know if you guys can see but i like it especially for every day i've also been liking the max factor miracle pure foundation in the shade soft toffee caramel would be my more summer shade you just have to be a little bit careful because um it does oxidize so soft toffee looks too light at first but trust me it oxidizes this is just to help just give a little bit more coverage because i've got a bit of scarring here and there also we go watch oh we went to go watch Megan, Megan, that's what they called her in the film, which is about a kind of cyborg robot. I don't know what it was that needs to, that was created to like take care of a kid or like be there for a kid. I don't know what on earth, but it's a horror and it was a good watch. I, I mean, that film explains exactly why I do not support robots but I feel like it's the future and that's just scary as hell and that film explains exactly why there are so many psychological factors that you need to take in it's not like just the convenience of having a robot walking around like and why do we have to make them in metal like if something goes wrong how am I supposed to defend myself like make it in, at least construct it in plastic so I, I can defend myself if it if it comes to it so yeah Megan was probably like a six out of ten as well it's okay there's a crazy horror film that's coming out it's called Evil Dead Rise if you haven't watched Evil Dead that's one of the most creepiest horrors I've seen it's in my like top ten list I would say 
Evil Dead Rise looks creepy. If you're into uh, horrors, that's one you need to go watch. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Concealer. I use the shade 3.5N and I've been really liking it, honestly. I've, I thought the shade wasn't right, but it works. Guys, I've also, I promise you, I've been vlogging. I bought a new vlog camera and it didn't go well. I mean, I've vlogged the whole pr process, you guys will see. So I'm still on the hunt for one. Uh, it's, it's like so hard to find the right one. I'm going in with the Misguided Beauty Meet Your Match Contour Stick in the shade D8. This, if you can get your hands on it, it's just like the perfect contour shade. Oh gosh, I got a thing now. If you looked at my old videos, I never used to like contour my nose, but now I always do. Another favorite of mine is the Elf Putty Bronzer in the shade Bronze Bell. I use this so much, so I thought I'd change it up a bit today. I'm just gonna blend this all out. But look at that base though. That's drugstore. What else has been going on? Guys, short YouTube shorts is definitely becoming a thing now. Like, I feel like you're gonna see way more makeup, well, creators in general do more shorts than actual videos. But based on the feedback that I got in my last YouTube video, I definitely will still continue to do these um, makeup videos and get ready with me. I'm gonna mix it up on my channel. Like, ugh, you know, we always say stay to stick to niche. I can't be asked. Like, like I know. You guys are not just into makeup, um, so yeah, it'll be a bit of um, everything on here. I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Crop Amelia Olivia Grow Milk Blush. I have to mix this stuff, but oh, I've been obsessed. This stuff, you only need the tiniest amount. I just love like the glow it gives, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I've been loving baby pinks. I don't know how it's been for some of you guys, but my January flew by. Like, I didn't even see the weeks. Like, my weekends go so quickly. For powder, I'm going to throw it back a bit. We're using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. Oh, guys. I know. Major throwback. I wore this yesterday and I was actually quite surprised at how well, like, it set my under eyes. For the whole day, like, my, my under eyes looked really nice. If you're still into highlighters, I'm going to be using this uh, Revlon Skin Lights in Daybreak Glimmer. It's a really nice drugstore one. It gives a really, really nice glow. To be honest, I haven't really come across a really nice drugstore palette. I feel like I've got so many of those. But I really wanted to talk to you guys about glitter shadows, which, oh my god, these are insane. These are from Take Two Cosmetics. I got them from TikTok Shop. You can make some good discoveries on TikTok Shop, but these, oh, they're so good. Look, I'm going to show you. Like, without any makeup primer, this one's Champagne Papi, and oh, it's stunning. You literally just put this on on its own, guys. And you just basically don't get any fallout. It's literally so pretty on its own. Oh my god. Now, moving on to mascara, I made the d recent discovery of this essence. I love extreme mascara. Guys, I know some of you have been asking me to try this for years. But it's so good. Volume. This gives. Wait, let me just show you guys. I'm going to do one eye. Bear in mind, this is just one coat this is what the brush looks like it's just this thick plastic brush but it just packs on the product so well bear in mind this mascara is three pounds you can get it from wilco in the uk you can get it on amazon but i've realized amazon prices are slightly higher than usual prices so i actually bought this on amazon for five pounds but it's actually three pounds if you can get it in wilco but that it's always out stock in my local wilco so i just got it on amazon but i'm so glad i did because it's so good it just even gets the inner corner lashes so good. Don't even get me started on the telescopic lift mascara, which I did review on TikTok and Instagram. And to be honest, I'm not a fan. It's not a fan of the brush. That was the main thing that did, I didn't like. And it was $12.99, which is definitely on the higher end of prices in general for mascaras, drugstore mascaras. So yeah, I was just not a fan. It's good. It's good, but it's not worth the hype that it's getting. And it's getting hype because obviously a very well-known TikToker basically, I don't know, I guess did an ad on it and was, if you're asking me, I think, I feel like she is wearing lashes, but she's basically wearing falsies and put the mascara in and then basically said that 
it was the result of this mascara but in my opinion there were lashes i don't know i just wouldn't be surprised if she came back and be like oh my god guys this was all a joke because basically that video got everyone buying this mascara and basically made it go viral so if it was actually a marketing strategy then they did pretty good i just don't know if you're allowed to like do a video like that and then say it was a joke because you're kind of like tricking people i don't know i don't know i do really like that tiktoker um to be honest and I was a little bit disappointed because I was just like, I can see the lashes, you know? Even if she just didn't put the lashes and just put the mascara, people would have gone and bought, bought it anyways. So I was like, you didn't even need to do that. The mascara looked good on its own. Mascaras aren't supposed to make your lashes look like falsies. We all know that. A lot of people tell me that I don't need falsies, but I still put them because they give a different type of look. They give a more fuller, neater, different type of look to your lashes that unfortunately mascara can't do on its own. But if you want to know my thoughts on the telescopic mascara, you can go check out my Instagram and TikTok, but overall, not a fan. The only thing with this mas uh, Essence mascara is that it does transfer a little bit on my under eyes. So I would probably, if I was going out, I'd probably put like my setting spray or like a waterproof clear mascara on my lower lashes especially. The L'Oreal, when I did a side-by-side -side comparison with this one, does give the same effect, but not exactly the same, but it needed three coats when this is just one. When it comes to books, I recently finished The Time Traveler's Wife and I'm actually almost done with the series, a recent series, and I love it. I mean, the book was so long to read. It was It's not a page turner, but the story overall is good. And I watched the series and I love the series more. I, I feel like I've always been into more visuals than reading. This was my first time reading a book and watching like a show slash film. And I love that experience. So yeah, I definitely want to do that more. And yeah, I love The Time Traveler's Wife. If you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend. And apparently there's a film that's really good too. Stories that play with time, to be honest. It's really, it can be sometimes hard to follow and i like to read for fun so yeah then sometimes i'm just like this is too mentally challenging for me right now i just want to read like why are you testing my brain like i need to remember these specific dates i'm actually gonna put a bit of a lip pencil on and i know it's really hard to find drugstore ones but i've been loving this p louise lip pencil in shady lady it's like that perfect brown shade And then these went absolutely viral. These are the Revlon, what are these called? Super Lustrous Glass Shine Lipsticks. Oh my God, these went super viral and I, I'm in love. I have the shade Toasting Glasses here. Let me show you a quick close up. But these are extremely shiny. That's like with the full application, but to be honest with these, like I just like to put a little bit so they're super versatile. I think these definitely deserve the hype. Please tell me you can see the glitter, okay? Then to finish that all off, I'm gonna use the Beauty Crop Amelia Olivia Glow Milk Mist. This stuff keeps your makeup on all day. And I really like the glow that it gives. And I let that dry. Anyways, that is my full face of drugstore makeup with a little bit of chit chat and a catch up with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I know we've had a lot of new joiners here. Oh my God, thanks to YouTube Shorts. And yeah, thank you so much for always sticking around and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.